welcome to Scrap Time. My name is Christine, and in this video, I'm making a card inspired by Kate Spade using the Tim Holtz runway stamps and watercolor markers. I love Kate Spade, and I love Kate Spade bags. And so I was looking at my email at new Kate Spade releases, and I came across this bag of a girl carrying these little heart balloons in a cityscape. And I thought, how cute was that? I'm going to make a card like that. And so I came up with these two cards and I used the stamps from Tim Holtz Runway Stamps. I had bought these a while back and had never had a chance to use them and I thought the girls in here would be perfect for these cards. So I stamped on my girl and then I drew on the balloons and um, a couple of lines for the landscape and colored it in. So I'm going to show you how I did that. So here I have my card. I've stamped my girl. I drew on, just with some pencil here, um, my heart balloons. And then I drew, sorry, all my cat fur. I drew a line across the card um, for my horizon. And I used the Tim Holtz uh, Distress Markers for this. So I'm going to show you. I took it. And I started just by outlining each of the, um, that was with candied apple. This one is festive berries. Oh yes, and I also do my little line. This one is worn lipstick. Then we have abandoned coral. And finally, we have Tattered Rose. And I used the Tattered Rose also on the girl. And then I used the Candied Apple on her as well. I just start with that much for now. So then what I do is I spritz a bit of water on my table and I use a small brush. Now you can um, use a water brush for this as well. And now I go through and I just activate that color. And I'm painting the color on with the water. Like the marker's there, but I'm just sort of moving it around a bit. And I start with the lightest one just because of um, I'm using the same brush. And I sort of just leave a bit of white there for some highlight.
some more water. And I just use my marker to blend out those edges. And then I can just go over the, um, the balloon strings. And it just softens the line. And for her dress, So then if I want more color, I just go back over them. And do another layer. And I'm just sort of blending it out so I don't have that, um, the sharp line there. But again, trying to keep my little white highlight. Especially with the dark one, I want I don't want that bold line. So I want to sort of bring the color into my card. like that is good. Just gonna wipe off that. So now we're going to work on our background and for that I'm going to use hickory smoke and I drew my horizon so I'm just going to put a bit of color here. And then in the card, it had a line of taxis behind her. And so that's why I just went with some yellow. And 
And then for the sky, I decided to use this Mermaid Lagoon. start with that. So I'm going to spit some more color and I'm using a bigger brush now to do the um, horizon. Need more water. See how quick it is like that? I just have my sidewalk. I'm just changing up my brush for each color. Oh, all of it has. You can see my cats love to hang out in my art supplies. And so everything I pick up has fur on it. some red on it. I'm just going to grab a new brush. Maybe I'll actually use that gray brush. I like to use the round brushes for this. I go around the images, but I give them a little bit of white space too. I don't go right up to it. It just gives it a more of a, I think a light uh, watercolor look. Just going to turn it to do this side. I sort of just get in I like to use uh, the markers because it's less mess. You just can put the color where you want and then add in the water to activate the color. So it's really easy to use. Whereas if I was doing this with actual watercolor paints, it may be a little harder. But there we more or less have our completed card. So it's quite easy to do. Once it all dries, I'll just go back and I'll erase some of the pencil marks. And it's just inspired from that Kate Spade bag. So when you're out shopping, if you see a print or a pattern or a design that you like, come home and see how you can apply it to your art. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to give us a thumbs up to like our video and subscribe to Scrap Time videos on YouTube. Until next time, thanks for watching. Bye bye.